Hello and welcome. Let's talk about upgrading packages in this specific lesson. Now, in this lesson, we are going to focus on how we are going to go ahead and update our packages and also when is the right time to do it. Now, whenever we go ahead and clone a specific repository, right, such as Discover Coffee Stores, for example, or we go ahead and create a brand new repo as well, right? We are subscribing to a specific package version. We are pretty much saying that these are the package versions for this specific repository unless we go ahead and manually update those. So let's take a look at an example. So for our project Discover Coffee Stores, we have a package JSON over here, right? And this package JSON have all these dependencies. Now we are pretty much locked in on these specific versions right now. Now, anyone who goes ahead and clones this repo, right, downloads it on their local computer, they are going to get these package versions when they run npm install. Now, we need to make sure that we keep these dependencies as up to date as possible. So how about we go ahead and do that? Now, let's take a look at this upgrade guide from Next.js. Now, every package version update is going to have some improvements. Just like you and I are developing applications and building them and scaling them, our focus is that, right? Similarly, the developers of these libraries, their focus is to give you the best developer experience as possible. Their responsibility is to make sure that they keep improving the packages. Now, there might be some packages that have essentially retired and they are not going to go ahead and update anymore because they think that this is the best they can do and they have pretty much retired that specific repository. The package works fine and they have done everything they can. But in case of Next.js, they are updating and improving Next.js every few months. So you're going to see a lot of different version updates. So it's extremely important for us to learn how exactly we go ahead and upgrade these versions. Now, Next.js team always ships with performance improvements image optimization improvements, and lots more. So we can definitely check out what each version provides and then accordingly upgrade them. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So right now in package.json, I'm on version next 10.2.0, right? And React version of 17.0.2. Now, if we go back to upgrade version, for example, you will notice that they have some instructions on how we can go ahead and upgrade from version 10 to version 11. But how do we know if version 11 is the latest one? Because that could also be 12, 13, or 11.5. We don't know that, right? So we can go to the Next.js GitHub repo from Vercel, right? This is the official repo for Next.js. And here you can see releases section. And if you click on it, you will see all the different releases for Next.js. And also in the notes, they also talk about the different changes that they have made. Now, this might be a bit harder to read, so I would mainly lean on this specific upgrade guide to talk about the different updates that we want to make. So now, in order to go ahead and upgrade our version from 10 to 11, right? Because just like we learned over here, the latest version is 11.1.2, right? So we need to go ahead and update our next year's version to version 11, right? So let's look at this doc and see how we can do that. So now upgrading React version to latest, they say that most application already use the latest version of React. And right now we are using 17.0.2. So let's go ahead and upgrade that now. So we can copy this specific command and it, like they say over here to upgrade, you can run the following command and paste what we just copied. Now here it's going to go ahead and install React Latest and React Dom Latest. At Latest is essentially going to be the latest version for React. Now, we get some messages here, right? It says that we found four vulnerabilities, three moderate and one high. Now, we don't need to go ahead and fix each and every one, but it's important to take a look at the high ones because they are the ones that might be a bit risky. So like they say over here, we can fix them by running npm audit fix or we can use npm audit for the details. 
So let's copy this command and run it. And let's see what happens when we run npm audit. All right, so now here they say that dependency of next, next dev overlay, and this is moderate, right? If we scroll up, this is also moderate for regular expression. Then if we scroll up more, this is high, right? XSS and image optimization API for Next.js. So this is definitely something that we should be looking at fixing it, right? So now like they say over here, run npm audit fix to go ahead and fix one of them. So now what we can do is we can just copy that and paste it. Now let's see if we are able to fix them properly because we don't know exactly how internally image optimization is working, right? So we can just follow this command. Now, like they say, updated one package. Notice how the number of packages now have gone down. So now let's go ahead and run npm audit again to see what those are. Let's run npm audit fix again. After running npm audit fix, we see a message here, fix zero of three vulnerabilities. Well, something didn't go right, right? It says that you, we need to run npm audit fix force. Now, force is something you only want to use. You want to force that install saying that we know what we are doing. So since we do know what we are doing, let's just copy it. But make sure to be very careful with this specific command. You only want to use force when you know exactly what you're doing. So in this case, we know that it was an image optimization change. So most likely it is going to upgrade a Next.js version. So now let's take a look at if it is able to go ahead and fix it. And like they say over here, I sure hope you know what you're doing. Well, let's hope so. All right. So now they say Next.js 11.1.2 got installed, right? And fixed three of three vulnerabilities as well. So it looks like the previous version of Next.js definitely had a vulnerability, right? And it went ahead and installed Next.js 11.1.2 by just upgrading it and fixing it, right? And the, their way of fixing it was installing Next.js 11.1.2. So now if you go ahead and run npm audit, we shouldn't see anything. And look at that. We see nothing here. And that's exactly what we want. Now if you go back to the docs, and if you scroll down, so now in this upgrade Next.js version to latest documentation here, right? We can also run npm install next latest to go ahead and get the latest next version. But luckily for us, the vulnerability caught a issue that allowed us to update by running npm audit fix. Now this doesn't happen each and every time, but in this case it did. So wanted to call it out as well. So let's say if the vulnerability did not necessarily get fixed on its own, or if it did not install or upgrade our latest package, then running this would also get us the latest Next.js version as well. So this is really good to know as well, right? Now, if you scroll down, it also says Webpack 5 is now the default for all Next.js applications. And we can also go ahead and take a look at what Webpack 5 has available for us, right? What are some of the benefits there? And it has improved fast refresh, improved disk caching when you run next build, and lots more. So definitely check this out if you're interested. And lastly, you will also see all the different improvements that have been made. But anyway, this documentation has a lot of details in terms of how we can upgrade from one Next.js version to the other. And what are some of the breaking changes if there are anything? Now, it's extremely important to review this guide before updating the version because Next.js is going to outline the different things that we need to do to fix those breaking changes as well. Now, you might be wondering, well, how come libraries are introducing breaking changes? But in some cases, we definitely don't have an option, right? Because a lot of these libraries, for example, are making some architectural changes or initially when they thought of approaching a specific thing or specific idea, now as the library evolves, that architecture decision does not scale very well and it does not really make sense. So it's extremely important to rethink architecture. And in that case, unfortunately, you might notice some breaking changes that get introduced as well. But a good library docs would definitely include on how we can 
go ahead and solve those breaking changes as well. So it's important to review the guide properly and then go ahead and fix those one by one. And this is really important to know. So now that we have this, we have upgraded our node version as well. Heading over to our editor, if we go to package JSON, now you can see next is 11.1.2, but React is the same as we were already on the latest version. Now we can go ahead and run our development server just to make sure everything has worked fine. So now here we can go and run npm run dev and let's see what happens. Started the server and let's wait for a message compile successfully. There you go. So now let's go to the browser and test it out. Now, if we go back to the browser and enter localhost 3000 and look at that, our app works, which is great. Now let's make sure it really works by clicking on these coffee stores. So let's click on coffee office, for example, and loading and it's 22 now. We can hit upvote as well and it works. If we go back to home and click on view stores nearby, this is going to show a list of stores near me. And look at that. We also have all the stores near me as well. So now let's click on coffee, oysters and champagne because I like that combination. And you can see it has zero votes, not good. Let's fix that and let's hit upvote. So looks like our application is working as intended. All right, so now I hope this gives you a really good understanding in terms of how we can upgrade our Next.js version. And as you build the application further, there might be more Next.js versions that might be available, and this guide will really tell you how we can upgrade it. That's all for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.